Initial Operating Instructions for Boxford VCM Milling Tabletop Machine, Part 1. Turn on the red power dial on the left-hand side of the machine. Make sure your workpiece is loaded and secured into the machine and that the door is lowered. Confirm that the red push button, the safety release, is pressed in, turned a quarter of a turn to the right, and released. Press and hold circular blue button with parallel lines. Confirm the red indicator light on the head button, top row, far left, is on. This puts the machine in manual mode. Press the square blue button with parallel lines. This homes the machine. Confirm the red light on the hand button is still on. Identify the size of the cutter you want to use for later on. Three, two, Next, you need to enter the data for the piece into the program. On the computer, open Boxford V10 CAD CAM software. Select the correct Boxford machine by serial number. Go to Settings, Current User, Administrator, Settings, Current User, Administrator. Click OK without typing anything into the box. Now you'll go to Settings, Machine, Datums. In the window that pops up, use the red arrows to indicate the desired datums, origin point of your piece. Before exiting the window, click on the Setup button located below the coordinates. Follow the datum settings instructions in blue at the bottom of the window. Fit a workpiece to touch onto. If not already done, you should secure your piece to be machined into the clamp or onto the table. Press Next. Input the diameter of the tool, cutter bit, into the box. Press Next. While in manual mode, hand button light on. Start the spindle forwards, clockwise, by pressing the top spindle direction button located above the safety release. Touch onto the indicated edges of the workpiece. Adjust the table manually by pressing the X plus, X minus, Y plus, and Y minus buttons. Adjust the cutter tool manually by pressing the Z plus and Z minus buttons. Speed of the tool can be adjusted with the black dial below the X, Y, and Z buttons. Press Next. Touch onto the next indicated edge of the workpiece. Press Next. Click OK. Locate the Tools icon on the bottom left-hand corner of the ministerial screen and click it. Don't freak out. It's OK. Select the tool with the correct diameter that you're using by double-clicking and highlighting the correct row in the spreadsheet. Locate the Setup button to the right of the X, Y, and Z offsets and click it. If the workpiece is already inserted and secured, click OK. Input the measured height from the top of the workpiece to the surface of the table, not the clamp. Once again, the height of the top of the workpiece to the surface of the table, not the clamp. Click OK. Ensure the tool indicated on the screen is properly loaded. Click OK. Lower the tool until it touches the top of the workpiece to indicate Z at zero. Click OK. Confirm that your X, Y, and Z's X and Y values are zero and your Z value is close to the height you input it earlier. If you're not done already, close the door. Save the data by clicking on the apply button at the bottom of the window. Click OK. Locate the save button at the bottom of the spreadsheet floppy disk. Click it. Press the red X button at the top right hand corner of the screen. 
don't worry, this won't close the program out, just the tools menu you opened.